Welcome back guys to my channel I am here with a farming simulator 19 video this one is on the new Grimmy Grime Grim Pack I'm gonna go with Grime I think anyway um, there's 15 new pieces of equipment in this DLC that's come out for the game um, it's all from the Grime brand stuff. It is made by Peppy978 is the modder that made this DLC. Um, really good job on the mods. Love, awesome detail. Um, so without further ado, I will go right into the equipment. Um, actually, one more thing. Um, if you do own the season pass for the game, you do get this DLC. You can download it for free. If not, it's 4.99 euro or whatever, which I think in Australia equates to seven dollars eighty-three or, or eight bucks, something like that. So, um, jumping into the first of the Grimmy equipment is these. These two are the cedars slash planters. Um, this is the smaller of the two. This is the GL32E and it will take eight slots on console. PC slots don't matter, but if you're a console gamer like I am, I'm doing this on my PS5. Um, everything has a slot count, so this one will use eight slots on console. And it is a two row planter, so it'll plant out, oh, I think it's like a meter. 1.2 meters anyway something like that um we'll i'll show you all that detail in the shop once i show you the equipment and then you got the big brother of this little guy which is the gl 32 f this one also plants out to 1.2 meters or something like 1.5 nicely detailed I love how you can see the bolts the u-bolts the springs all the workings of it the blades the discs all that every nut every bolt is shown it's awesome the springs anyway this one holds your potato or your seed in the back there in the tank on the front this one will hold fertilizer as well so you can fertilize and plant at the same time which is really cool they don't have much of a capacity i think this one's 500 liters of potato or seed this one's slightly bigger but i can't remember we'll find out when i hook it up but to make that go further um you can this is just the option I grab, but there's other options there. But you can get this. This is just the Zerion saddle track with the big tank on the back, the 8,000 litre capacity. Jump in it, you can fill it with seeds, and you can hook up to this. Not just this, but any planter, and it gives you 8,500 litres of seeds or potatoes to plant. So. This is the first one guys to show you, you just, we will lower the planter and drive along and then as you can see we are planting two rows of potatoes. Nicely done, does its job. And I'll just turn around and we'll go get the other one guys. I'll show you that one in operation as well. So that's that was the GL32E potato planter. This one again is the GL32F. So we'll just pick him up. Oop. Just like so. And he's just got a different option in the back there to make the rows in, in, in the game. It doesn't matter, but I guess in real life they would pile the soil back up around the potato that you put in. But we just drive on to here, lower him down. 
and we'll just start driving you don't have to turn these guys on they just plant as you drive but just like that we're planting potatoes two rows again and the difference is we're fertilizing that at the same time so That's the two potato planters you get in this DLC pack, guys. Really awesome. Um, moving on from that, we have these guys. Um, now, at first glance, when I saw them, I'm like, oh, yes, we have some cultivators. But you'd be wrong like me if that's what you thought these are actually weeders and I have a potato crop here as you can see there's weeds in amongst the potatoes it's there so we'll see them in operation but this one here is the Grimmy GH4 10 slots on console actually just backtracking sorry I forgot that, I don't know if I ever mentioned that. But this GL32F will use 15 slots on console, guys. Um, sorry about that, I totally forgot and missed that. Anyway, back to the weeders. Like I said, this one here, the GH4, um, will use 10 slots. It's a weeder, there are options in the shop and I'll show you these when we go in. You can have the rollers on the back or without the rollers, um, totally up to you. Also got this weeder which is the smaller one, it's the GH2, it'll use 9 slots on console. It has the same options as the GH4 with the rollers, you can have them on or off. No choice of colours, it is all in the grimy red. Um, so I'll just grab my fast track here and these just pull the weeds out of your potatoes or I guess any field really they're just a weeder this one will weed at two meters I think could be one but again just lower it down and as we drive, it'll just kill the weeds between uh, unless my crop are too far gone to get weeds out. Hmm. Okay drop that one off but that's it in action anyway guys the GH2 we got the GH4 you don't have to turn these on you just pull up to your field you lower them down and just drive can't see I think my field might be too far gone for pulling the weeds out but essentially that's what they do you just drive along and they rip the weeds out of your potatoes. Here's your GH2 and your GH4. After that we have this, the biggest one of the weeders, which is the GH8, which also uses 10 slots on console. This one folds and unfolds, so L1 trigger and then you hit your X button which then unfolds your weeder. And then you can hit L1 and circle which will lower the ridge hiller, which are those things on the back there which I guess in real life would make the dirt hills neat and tidy back in your, your field or garden bed whatever you're using it for and you just lower it down lower the wheat the 
weed up and you just drive along like so. Uh, I think my weed state's gone too far. I'll have to use herbicide to pull them out. Anyway, that's okay, but that's it working, guys, just like that. Nice movement with the ground, bouncing around there, springs all doing their job. That is really cool animation. That is the GH8 weeder. Nice folding and unfolding animations. Nice and smooth. And again, the detail in this DLC pack is just excellent drive over here I'll need my tractor as well so they're the weeders guys after the weeders we have these these are the harvesters um, two of these you will need to buy the topper and cut the tops off the potatoes like so once they're ready so this is what they'll look like when they're ready to harvest and all that has to be cut off for the next two harvesters in this pack so you'll run the topper over it and that's what the field will look like um, so what we do guys the, the harvesters we have are the WH200 um, what this one does is it actually pulls the potatoes out of the ground they then come along that belt and it drops them straight onto the ground in those two black flaps there and leaves it in a nice tidy windrow so you can pick them up off the ground later um, this one does the same only slightly different it's a little bit bigger too it's the WH200S it potatoes come up the belt as it pulls them out of the ground only instead of swathing it at the back like this one does in the two black shoots there or the guides whatever you want to call them it has another belt system on the back there as you can see and you can choose to change that to swath left or swath right up to you how you do that but it comes up the main belt hits that belt and it just spits it out the side drops them on the ground as you drive along so I'll just jump in and show you them two guys and before I do that the WH200 is 13 slots on console I'm pretty sure this is the WH200 Eco um, this is this is 13 slots and um, yeah that'll use that many slots this one is the WH 200 S and it'll also use 13 slots on console the only difference is there's the way they swath basically so just jump in the tractor guys and we'll hook up to the eco first drive onto your field once you've topped them lower the harvester down turn him on just these ones are PTO driven and then as you start driving it just pulls the potatoes out of the ground and puts them in a nice neat windrow or swath if you, whichever you want to call it but that's that one working lovely dust animations off the back there potatoes running up the belts but that's how the WH200 works guys just like that so pretty simple again all the machines in these are really cool they do make potato growing and harvesting a little bit easier but they're not the biggest machinery out there um, the base game Grimmy Planter is actually bigger and goes out to 6 meters so if you're planting big fields that one would probably be the better one to get anyway back to that's just my opinion just, it just gives, this pack just gives you options 
basically so which is cool to have options but this one does the same this harvester you just lower it I've got it swathing to the left you can have it swathing to the right like I said but you just lower it turn him on and just drive down the field like so and as you can see it's just dropping the potatoes out on the left hand side of the harvester there a nice neat row as it's intended to do which is really cool again nice animations nice dust turn that off like I said just another way of doing potatoes more equipped different equipment to do them which is really cool I'll move that up here because I'll need to get to that bit of kit there in a minute okay and over here we've got the last of our three harvesters in this pack and it's this one this is the WR200 CDV harvester and it will use 16 slots on console um, the only difference with this one again guys is it does swath them at the back there it's got the swathing plates um, this one you don't need to cut the tops off the um, potatoes like you do with the other two this one will do it all by itself so as you can see there got the cutting heads and that in there then up onto that belt along the belt system and then out the back there and puts it in a nice swath so I'll just show you that one too so it will do it all it's like an all-in-one unit just won't pick them up we'll just line him up here Right, we will unfold harvester which is L1 and X puts the swathing guides down at the back there if you saw that nice slow neat smooth animation just like so then we'll um, turn it on we'll lower the swather and then we will just start driving and as you can see it's cutting the tops off as well as pulling them out of the ground and leaving them in a nice neat row on the ground just like so so if I was going to do potatoes I would probably use this one to harvest it if I was going to use a tractor um, don't have to buy another separate header it's just a one piece of equipment and hook it up and away you go but that is the Grimmy WR200 CDV harvester guys very nice neat piece of gear these Grimmy equipment so far then over here we have this thing which is the Grimmy SE8555 um, it looks like a harvester but it's not a harvester it's actually a potato collector so once you've harvested your potatoes and put them in nice rows like that on the field you can then come and get this guy connect him up there does have a collection tank on here the cover is an option from the shop but in real life I'm pretty sure the cover is there because as you collect as you collect the potatoes with this there's workers that can stand in here in that space you go up the ladder in the fence you stand there you can have one on this side as well as covers just to keep the workers out of the sun and stuff but as the 
belt potatoes come up the belts and that the real life version your workers would stand there they'd sort through the potatoes if there's any bad ones or not so good ones they'd pluck them out and throw them aside and I guess you'd use them ones for replanting your crop but that's what the cover's for so we just unfold the harvest the harvester the collector I should say and then you line this up with your swath there again L1 to open it up lower it down and then as you drive along it picks up the swath of potatoes as you can see all the running all up through the belts does have a potato tank at the front there guys as you can see they're getting collected into the tank that swath's done and then I'll just turn around but for such a big bit of equipment it doesn't have a very big pickup for the swathing but that's okay gets the job done again just line it up and as you can see again it's just picking up the potatoes and it's putting them into the capture tank there just like so So then turn that off, lift up the intake and we'll drive this over to here because this can help me with what else I'm showing. Come in this pack. And the rest of the equipment is this. You can pipe out with this bit of gear so before I do pipe out with this this also came in the pack. This is the Grimmy Multi Trailer 190. It's the smaller of the trailers, but it's a belt bottom trailer. Everything feeds out there on the belt. It does do more than just your potatoes, it will do everything possible. So you can put fertilizer, you can put seeds, potatoes, sugar cane, wheat, barley, everything. It'll take everything. And I'll prove that to you in a second, guys. It'll take your hay pellets if you're hay pelleting so it's basically a belt driven auger trailer auger wagon I guess so that's really cool getting back to the collector you can pull up beside it you can pipe out so you as you can see the conveyor belt and the collection bin lifts up and your cover automatically disappears to let it do that and we can just lift this up decently and we can just maneuver into place and that'll just automatically unload into your trailers whatever trailer you have just like so guys really cool and just pipe in again or folds down back ready for collection and cover back on And that is the SE8555 Potato Collector, guys. We just fold him up. As I said, also in this pack you get the two trailers. The options are exactly the same in the shop for either trailer. Just one's bigger than the other. So this is the multi-trailer 190, it's the smaller of the two. Um, you can, it has a cover, I think you can choose whether you have that or not. I'm not sure, I think you might just get it, but you do have colour options. It's either grimy red or grimy white. But to unload it, just for example, you just pull up here. 
L1, R1 together, triangle to unload, and it just drives the potatoes out the back like so. Like that, the hydraulic door opens to let you, whatever product you have out. To open the cover, L1 and left on your directional pad, open and closes the cover. They're both these trailers will use 11 slots, slot, slots, jeez, we'll use 11 slots, is what I was meant to say, each. <laughs> um, so that's not too bad, but just to prove that they take everything and not just potatoes. This is the edge multi-filling silo. So there we go as you go through, we got it'll take fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime, straw pellets, hay pellets, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, cotton, sugar cane, seeds, total mixed ration, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, and back to fertilizer. So it will take every product in the game. So, really handy trailers, to be honest. And this big one here is just the same, except this one is the Grimmy Multi Trailer 350. So, it's the exact same trailer, it's just bigger, has the triple axles, same color choices, um, really cool, but all the same controls. It's just L1 and left on your directional pad opens and closes your cover and then the same L1, R1 and triangle just unloads it like so. Nicely done. And I'll just I'll go into the shop all at once and show you all the gear at, at the end. But over here we have these potato handling equipment and the first one is this guy which is the Grimmy GBF belt system or palletizer you do need to move this around with a set of forks or possibly the big bag handler from the CZS pack um, I haven't tried it but I know the, the the pallet forks work so what you do is you enter this like a vehicle you walk up to this side with this control panel and in the top menu it says enter vehicle so you hit square enter it L1 X to unfold the belt and the sides come up just like that and then you can L1 and square will either disable pallet creation or enable pallet creation so you can have it drop out in pallets or not in pallets but to move it around you'll need a tail handler, forklift, front end loader, whatever um, before I move it down here it does have two square slots where your forks are supposed to go I had a lot of trouble trying to line them up it didn't seem to want to line up that well for me um, but not to worry because you can just drive right in completely right under the whole assembly and just lift like any like normal anyway the whole idea behind this is you can put it under here or just like any belt system you put it under the out chute like so, and we'll drop it down, just give him a nudge. Drop it down like that, it's set up to make pallets. So that's the Grimmy GBF belt system, it'll take seven slots on console and you can choose whether to have it in pallets or not for your potatoes. You could put anything at the end there I guess, like the big reusable pallets pack you could put under there something like that um, also in the pack after that the Grimmy GBF is 
that guy in the middle there with the big chute and that is the conveyor loader which also come in this pack it uses six slots on console you can choose the options of color of the belt either yellow or black but that's it and then the last conveyor belt system is the Grimmy PS511 which will use 11 slots on console this is an awesome bit of gear this thing this is a drivable conveyor belt I mean you can drive most of them but this one is purposely built to drive around so you jump in it like a vehicle it starts up electric obviously has beacons doesn't have a horn but you can L1 and up and down on the right stick extends it or shortens the belt and then R1 and up and, and left and right on the right stick will raise and lower the belt like so beacons off for a second so what we can do is we can park here and then we can extend that out to meet the other belt and then we can turn this belt on and it'll pick the product up off the ground load it into that belt and as you can see so it's loaded it into that belt into the Grimmy conveyor loader which then has put it into the Grimmy GBF and then it has spat it out into pallets the good thing about this though is it doesn't just move potatoes um, neither does that belt so you can actually drive this got a pile of hay pellets here just to prove it will pick up other stuff And you can have it load into trailers or onto other belts or higher belts to put into trailers or anything you're doing but I'll just park the bucket under here just to, just to show and we'll come back to the belt and then we will turn the belt on and up it goes and it's filling the bucket just like that and moves it really quick look how fast it moves that stuff and then I can extend that out drive forward pick up more stuff reverse that is just so awesome And we can fold that up so the shorter it is the higher it gets depending on what you want to load into and then we can lower it down for a bit of easy driving around but that is really really cool piece of gear so many ideas I have for that and that is the Grimmy PS511 conveyor system drivable one awesome again that is the Grimmy GBF potato palletizer slash belt system be cool if it put every product into pallets but you can buy different mod packs with different pallets and then that one there is the conveyor loader there that you can just have set up in a static place like your pelletizer 
shed or something and off you go like it's so easy it'd be great sorry about that just bump my microphone um and last but not least in this pack i'll just turn that engine off last but not least in the grimmy pack is this the potato warehouse it has opening little door here for personnel nice detail inside big steel frame ventilation fans and lights on the roof awesome stuff so that closes not roller door here with the controls on the wall so you walk up to there that's your trigger hit circle open and close the roller door one way in one way out um, it does say it's a potato storage but this building will hold everything like a lot of the things in this pack it doesn't just stick to potatoes the lights outside come on automatically but the lights inside you turn on from the junction box here the big yellow switch turn that on and all your lights come on inside lights up inside pretty well nice texture with the bricks on the walls can hear the exhaust fans running to keep your product dry and ventilated no matter what you put in here whether it's potatoes wheat barley oats sugar beet whatever you can store everything in here these are on the side here are potato tunnels but it probably works for most root crops um, I don't think it would work for grains because they're too fine and would get inside the tunnel but you just walk up to these I think the idea of these is you lay them out on the floor so as you walk up to them the trigger will come up it says place right potato aeration tunnel click circle and it'll start to put them out along the floor there I think the idea behind these is as you fill your crop haul up this will hold the potatoes and that off the floor to stop moisture condensing on the floor under your potatoes the air will flow freely under your potatoes and then out through your potatoes helping to keep them dry or your sugar beets stuff like that it has three of them so you can put the middle one out and the end one out as well see just like that of course you don't have to have them out if you just want to use it as a multi crop haul you can just pack them up again just by coming here and removing them just like so packs them away back on the side there that the idea is I'll just undo the cover that's right the big trailer has a 35,000 litre capacity Sorry, I didn't mention that. Jeez, my mind's slipping. Um, I will show you when we go in the shop. But tr smaller trailers, obviously smaller. But we'll reverse in. Unload the potatoes in the hall. Out the back there. could probably use a leveler or a front end loader or tail hand or whatever to push them up the back more really pack your stuff in fill it but there we go guys just load it up into your hall like that drive back out like I said it will take all crop types just like your truck just like the trailers will the crop is in here neat and tidy and stored is getting well ventilated you can turn your lights off lock it up store it and here are the motors around here for your ventilation there's two either side so really cool you can hear them running don't think you can turn them off but that's a cool little detail and feature this thing does have a pretty big footprint 
There's two more that side, the cooling system for potatoes. Two on that side. As you can see, that concrete right round the edge, that is the footprint of the building, which is a decent size. Fairly big, but yeah, you will need some space to place it. But in saying that, that brings us to the end of the Grimmy DLC. Guys, that's all the equipment. Um, we'll just jump into the shop and I'll show you where to find it. So first of all, the cedars, it's all under tools. And then your potato technology, most of it you'll find in here. So there's the base game stuff. That's a cedar planter. That's a cedar planter. Three meter, six meter. So that's... Um, bigger than the ones we got in the pack but still then we get on to the pack so the first one here yeah i was right so 1.5 meter working width this is the gl32e ten thousand eight hundred dollars to buy it will hold seed and potato it will also plant potato um like i said the first one is eight slots and then everyone after that is just one slot which is like everything once you got the first one every bit of equipment comes down to one this cedar has a 500 liter capacity and will work at 11 kilometers an hour we got the second one next to it the gl32f which is eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars to buy has 800 liter capacity so 300 liters more than the first one but this one will hold fertilizer as well um, the 800 litre capacity is split in half so I think it's 500 for potatoes, 300 for fertiliser or that could be the other way around. It's not 800 litres of potatoes, it will hold, it'll hold 500 potatoes, I'm pretty sure, 300 litres of fertiliser. Um, after that we then have the Harvester, first of the harvesters, which is the WH200 Eco, which is the smallest one, working width of 1.5 meters. It will harvest potatoes, 64, 68 horsepower to use it, so not a lot of power to use it. Runs at 8 kilometers an hour. Um, there are no color options on these, it's just what you see is what you get. Same for that, the only difference is on this planter you can change it from standard to planter I mean to planter either way but you can just have the hill builders on the back or without the hill builders does the same with or without it's just whether you want to go for the look and then back to the planter WH Eco that's it is what it is no options, 1.5 meters, 8 kilometers an hour, 68 horsepower to run. Then we have the bigger one, the WH200S, 72 horsepower to pull, 1.5 meter working width, but the difference is at the back with the belt, it's on left swath dropping, you can change it to right swath dropping, so it just changes the belt from one side to the other that's all that's the only options it has and we have the big one no options on it it is what it is you get it how you get it and the grimy red 1.5 meter working width again only 150 horsepower to pull so again don't need overly huge tractors to run this gear so if you're starting off small and you want to do potatoes you know all the gears now are here to do it playing a bit easier um, again this one it's not a harvester it's a collector but it's in the harv in the potato technology at the end of the harvesters and that's the SE 8555 6800 litre capacity for potatoes 90 horsepower to operate runs at 0.9 of a metre so 900 mil it will its feeding shoot starts at and no options except for cover or no cover up to you how you go um, the next items are still in tools but they are under trailers and they're 
right here after the class ones you've got the Grimmy multi trailer 190 holds all those fruits with a 19,000 litre capacity for the small one not too bad uh, the options are you get trailer borg tires Michelin tires lizard tires but you don't get to choose your tire it's just a standard tire trailer borg and Michelin are normally wider lizards are a bit small as you can see the trailer drops then you can have it in the grimy red or grimy white cover yes or no I did notice that if you have it in the grimy oh no that's my bad I thought the covers changed they don't never mind but yeah, you can have the Grimmy white trailer, Grimmy red, cover yes or no, you don't have to have it, up to you. There are your options. Same on the multi trailer 350 for 40,500. Uh, has a 35,000 litre capacity, will hold absolutely everything, which is awesome. Could use it as an auger wagon or if you've got low places to go to sell products that don't like the tipper trailers this might be another option for you um, same options again is you have trailer borg tires michelin tires but we can change them so you've got michelin wides or standard trailer borg standard or wide and that's all you get and same you've got grimy red grimy right cover yes or no that's the trailers and last but not least all the way over here in belt systems we have the GBF six thousand five hundred dollars to buy and it comes as is same with the conveyor loader for fifteen hundred dollars does say it only takes potato but all these belts move pretty much everything I'm pretty sure it's just the GBF won't palletize the other products like it does the potatoes um, but that's okay anyway the conveyor loader $1500 35,000 litre capacity so you can pile that up there before it unloads belt options are black or yellow and that is the conveyor loader guys runs at five kilometers an hour then we have at the end the PS 511 for thirty eight thousand dollars no options is how it is and that's the belt drivable belt system and after our belt systems we come down here to our weeders and there's the new Grimmy Weeders, the GH2 for $7,000 at 1.5 meters. Like I said, don't get to pick the color, but you do get to put the rollers on the back or not. 45 horsepower to use. Um, same with the GH4 for $12,000. Comes as is, you can have rollers or without. And then at the end is the GH8 for $19,000 at 6 metres working width at 140 horsepower. And that's what I missed on that one. It's 74 horsepower to use on the GH4. And there's no options on the GH8. It is as it is. And they're the weeders, guys. And like I said, um, the last bit is under tools. In placeables, under sheds is where you'll find the potato warehouse. $195,000 to buy, $150 upkeep a day. And there it is, as you can see. Doesn't show the footprint. But when you get it and you place it, the concrete comes out. So it does kind of have a fairly big footprint. But that's it and that's where you find it. Guys, and that 
is everything in the new Grimmy DLC. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope I've shown you everything and you can understand it all. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Smash that like button for me, guys. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to my channel and turn, hit that bell button turn on the notification so you never miss an upload from my channel and like always guys until next time i'll catch you later